Azurox sponsored part of our trip here to Computex 2024 to showcase all of the things that they had going on on their booth, especially with regards to what they have on the Intel side of things. Because in case you don't know, Azurox is actually big into GPUs and especially the ARC graphics card lineup. They're one of the most robust supported ARC GPU vendors out there. And they made sure to have that display out in full force with various systems showing off the ARC graphics cards. And they had numerous versions of their lineup, including the Phantom Gaming Ace 770 16 gig, the Challenger SE A717 16 gig, as well as the Challenger A750 8 gig, the A580 8 gig, and then also an A380 Challenger low profile. ASRock is still continuing to be a great partner for Intel moving forward when it comes to GPUs. I'm excited to see if there's potentially more down the lineup. But also ASRock had their next generation Intel motherboards on display. They couldn't tell us the chipset, but this is going to be what's going to be supported on the next generation CPU coming out from Intel. Starting from the regular side of the lineup, they have their Phantom Gaming Nova Wi-Fi with killer Wi-Fi 7, making it so that gamers have better latency when they're playing their online games. But then they have their Tai Chi motherboard, which has been a staple in the ASRock lineup for a long time. Except for this one, they're going for a lot of M.2 support, making sure that you have everything you need when it comes to your SSD desires. So there's gonna be six M.2 ports that are featured on the actual motherboard, but then they're including an expander card that allows you to get four more for a total of 10 M.2 cards. So this is going to be the board that you're going to buy in case you want to build your own NAS, just wholly using SSD is directly on the system. But they're also bringing back their OC formula motherboard, their board that is dedicated to enthusiast overclockers, making sure that you have the absolute pinnacle amounts of performance. So this thing's going to feature 27 power phases, as well as only two dim slots for better OC so that you have the dim slot closer to the IMC on the CPU, reducing latency, making it more stable overall, especially when you're going for that extreme overclocking, pushing that DDR5 to its absolute limits and pushing the CPU to its breaking point. But one of the things that was a big deal here at Computex that actually allows for even better memory overclocking than just having two DIMM slots is the CAM2 RAM slot. So they showed that off with their OC formula board because you actually get better latency with CAM2 than just traditional traditional two dim stick motherboard setups. It's lower profile, it's capable of higher capacities. The version they showed had 48 gigabytes on a single CAM2 setup, and it's even replaceable with you being able to upgrade it in the future in case you want to, and then also theoretically higher speeds on those CAM2 RAM sticks. It's something that ASRock was very excited to have implemented into motherboards, and they wanted to make sure that they showed it off with their OC formula, because they're thinking, especially on the desktop side, where the low profile doesn't necessarily matter for a whole lot of people, People, the thing that is going to matter is that reduced latency, that higher capacity, that higher speed, making it so that uh, extreme overclockers have everything at their disposal to push the limits of PCs. But speaking of having things at your disposal, let's talk about the high-end flagship Tai Chi Aqua that ASRock showed off for their next-gen Intel motherboards, because this thing is giving you all USB-C rear ports. This is something that we talked to the designer of the motherboard, the project manager, and he discussed that this is a, this this is a bold choice even within ASRock. There was a lot of pushback internally when it came to, should we do this? Should we not do this? And he was like, Listen, we're not gonna do it on all of our boards, but I wanna do it on one of them because it's been how many years since USB-C debuted? There's been USB-C laptops since 2015. There's been USB-C gaming handhelds for the better part of a decade. And so, especially with more and more companies adopting it, they were like, let's, let's put all ports. So there's a variety of 10 gig ports as well as five gig ports, but then also your standard Thunderbolt ports allowing you to get that connectivity, either high speed or just regular. But in, as a compromise, they have assured us that they will include USB-A dongles and adapters in the box to make it so that you still have USB-A on the rear port. But also let's not forget that you still have USB-A front headers so that you can still have those devices plugged into the front of your PC. But that's not the only notable thing about the Chai Chi Aqua from ASRock. One of the things that the Aquas have been known for in the past, and we previously got our own Aqua that had UFD tech engraved on it. And that was that the Aqua series was a full mono block for cool 
pulling both the CPU as well as the VRMs and everything around it. They're getting rid of the monoblock this time, but still giving you water cooling options for the VRM as well as for the high speed PCI Express 5.0 SSD. And that's going to be run independently so you can take the SSD out without having to necessarily disrupt the entire rest of the loop. It still has those six M.2 slots, so you have a lot of capacity for having drives installed, but the Tai Chi Aqua is making some bold design choices while also looking sleek, refined, beautiful, giving you that extra water cooling support in case you want it to create a very visually stunning system. And then forcing the industry to reckon with itself, why are we not ready for all USB-C yet? Hmm? I just like it because it's, it's a bold design choice. This is something that has polarized the community. We've seen your response to our short where we covered the ASRock motherboard with all USB-C and a lot of people are divided on it and even ASRock was themselves but I like I like to see companies pushing boundaries and this is one of those ways where it's it's harmless but it's engaging to see it happen because it means that they're thoroughly thinking through their designs and not just doing things willy-nilly which is one of the things I appreciate about ASRock and I also appreciate them sponsoring our trip here to Computex 2024. This should be the last video for our Computex coverage. We did do a lot of vertical content that you can see over on YouTube Shorts or over on TikTok or Instagram Reels in case you're interested in all of that. But it's been a beautiful trip here to Taipei, Taiwan. We got to bring Reese with us. We got to have Kyler around. It was a good trip. And Azrock, thank you for allowing us to have this be made possible by you. We'll see you in the next video, friends. Cheers.